book 248. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the poor man, the vision, and the blessing. That's right, the poor man, the vision, and the blessing. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, a man was finishing up his duties for the day and preparing for bed. This man, who was one of my ancestors no less, was a very poor man and he would spend his days trying to perform different tasks for people in exchange for food, money, or things he could trade. He never made much throughout the day, but he was able to acquire enough to survive. This night, when the man laid down and went to sleep, he saw a vision from God in the form of a dream. In this dream, he was told that God had saw his sufferings and was coming to intervene and end his lifetime of struggle and pain. The man was told that if he traveled to a certain place, he would find a special seed inside of a cave next to a lake. This seed, he was told, would grow into a tree with magic branches. The wood from these magic branches could be used to build any structure the builder could imagine. The man was told to plant the seed in the center of town and in just 10 days time, the tree would grow. The man woke up from his dream and he knew in his heart that his vision was real. So he left off in the middle of the night and went to go and find the seed. After a long journey, he found the lake and the cave and he began searching for the seed. Finding it exactly where he saw it in his dream, the poor man jumped for joy. He quickly grabbed the seed and ran off, headed back home. On the way, he thought that if he planted it in the center of town, someone might mistakenly cut his tree down. Or worse, they might take the magic branches before he could use them and he would lose out on his blessing. So, when the man made it back home, he searched for a spot hidden from the people where he could safely plant the seed. He looked and looked, and finally he found it. The man then planted the seed away from prying eyes and went home to wait the designated 10 days. After exactly 10 days, he went to check on the seed, and to his dismay, it had not grown. So, the man went home and waited another 10 days. After 10 more days, he went to check the seed again, and again, it had not grown. The man prayed to God about this, but he received no reply. So, he waited for 10 more days, and again, the seed did not grow. Eventually, the man thought to himself that soon he would have another vision that would explain what was happening, so he went back to living poor and he awaited his next vision. Days turned to weeks, and weeks turned to months, and months soon turned to years. And years became more years, and the tree never grew, and the vision never returned. The man became bitter and angry with God, and he thought that his vision was simply the dreams of a poor man who was fooling himself. Soon, the poor man got old, and he went to check the seed one last time. Seeing that the tree still did not grow, the man dug it up out of the ground and cursed the seed, and he cursed God. Then, he carried it to the center of town and tossed it to the ground. He wanted nothing more than for the seed to become the problem of another. The man went back home, and after 10 days, a large tree grew in the center of town. It was so tall that the man could see it from his home. When he saw it, he cried out to God and asked why he was so cruel and made him wait many years to fulfill the vision. Finally, God returned to the man and spoke. I did not come to you in a dream in order to bless you and you alone. I offered you a gift so that with your gift, you could be blessed and you could also bless everyone around you. I told you to plant the seed in the center of town, yet you chose to hide the seed in darkness. What I gave you was not meant to be hidden away and hoarded. It was meant to be shared. Had you shared your gift from the very beginning, you would have indeed enjoyed a rich and prosperous life. But since you were selfish, you have lost your opportunity. The man hung his head in shame, and in a few days' time, he died and went on to the realm of the ancestors. And so, the morning motivation of today is the poor man, the vision, and the blessing. Many of you have been given something great by the one who has given you life. However, you are searching for a way to enjoy what you have been given without sharing it with others. And because of this, you are not reaping the benefits of your gift like you should. Today, instead of trying to keep your gift to yourself, try sharing your gift freely with the world. And I am sure you will then get everything you want out of life. And as you share your gift with the world, always strive to do that which is good. 
And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To all the books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighern.com.